Good morning and welcome to the Happy Vibes Podcast, a podcast about all things yoga, healthy living, personal growth, enriching relationships, and clever strategies to living your best life. Hi, I'm Tamara, a certified yoga instructor and mama extraordinaire. My guest today is Sean Whitfield. Welcome, Sean. Welcome. Glad to be here. Well, it's season two of Happy Vibes Podcast, and I would be remiss if I did not address the topic on everyone's mind. Which is? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Everybody's walking around scared right now, aren't they? Everyone is really scared, and I work in home health, and they actually told us, so my job requires that I go to people's homes. They told us at the office not to come to the office (laughs) and expose them to our germs. Hmm. I thought that was kind of rude like oh it's okay for us to be out in the community exposed to all the germs but don't be bringing it back out to in them on a fire but in don't <laughs> don't bring it back to the home base and uh by the way they don't have any face masks because everybody's out so luckily i have stocked up on masks hmm. in the event that i need one because apparently the three symptoms are fever cough sore throat is that what you've heard i think you are correct and I had just heard uh, the other day the CDC is saying that uh, it is 10 times more lethal than the common influenza. Oh, wow. I had not virus. heard that statistic because in my mind, I'm downplaying it. Well, it's just a cold or a flu. And really, more people than we realize die from the flu every year. It's just not hyped up like this coronavirus is. But that's an interesting. I think statistic. it's got a lot to do with age, how healthy a person is, and also how strong their immune system is. It is. Um, they they're recommending, I think, that people over sixty not leave home. Would you consider your immune system to be very strong? Uh, I would hope so, but you're always saying I'm kind of sick. You do I get, don't know. <laughs> you do get sick often. But it's not true. I actually have a <laughs> no, list of true. Tamara's tips just, to staying healthy. Just ask. <laughs> just ask the girls. Well, they would I, testify well, to their mother being sick. At the end of this podcast, I will be going over Tamara's <laughs> tips to staying healthy because uh, I, I feel vital. I feel young. I feel healthy and youthful. So. Well, you look that way and you do appear to be that way. But uh, I was just curious what your opinion was about your immune system. I well, feel how, like I'm probably in the best health that uh, I've been in in a while. I've... Um, listen to our radio show uh, called vital health radio hosted by ed jones and dr christopher green and i've done a lot of research listening to other podcasts and um i'm eating better uh more concerned about uh, my tr- nutrition coming from food and uh, i invest a lot more in supplements every month of course so that, exercise has always been a major part of my world well, that just begs the question sean what is your definition of eating healthy Eating healthy. I would say uh, staying away from sugars as best you can. I agree because it's inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And inflammation is a big impact on our immune system. I eat a lot of meat and vegetables. So you're trying to stay away from processed foods, like whole foods. Mm -hmm. I think think we both agree on that. And that's actually one of my healthy tips is to eat more vegetables. Yes. Yes. And sometimes that's difficult to do if you eat out most of the time and you're not uh, doing a lot of home cooking. That is. And I'm even thinking that maybe, like me personally, not recommending this to anyone else, but maybe limit eating out right now because you just don't know who is touching your food or breathing on your food, how much their hand hygiene is or how good their hand hygiene is. Yes, this coronavirus is... um, putting us in a time that i don't think any of us have ever lived in yeah i never have and i'm 50 years old this is the first time i've seen this in fact my 14 year old daughter told me that they're bringing home their chrome devices in the event that they don't return to school monday and i think they've already shut down utc is that correct uh all the uh, university of tennessee uh colleges have oh is chattanooga state I uh, don't know about Chattanooga State. And of course, by the time this podcast is heard by people, it could change tremendously. It could, Who it could knows? be a lot. Hopefully, this podcast will drop Monday. Well, Monday. We're looking in the middle of March here. Oh, fun fact. Do you know it's 27 years ago that we had snowpocalypse? Do you remember that, Sean? When I heard that, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so old. Where were you at when that happened? I was right here in Chattanooga. Where were you at? I was uh, with you in Chattanooga. 
<laughs> we were we were in our home. And the funny thing is, men always have to get out and drive around when it's snowing up to the windows. And they said, do not leave your house. A man thinks, I got to go drive around in the snow just to see if I can do it. I'm surprised That's you remember thing. that time. I remember that time very well. Of course I remember. My memory is very, very good. Mm. That just goes to show we've known one another a lot of years. We have known each other a long time. Yeah. Well, since this is a podcast about yoga, you might be wondering, hey, is yoga beneficial to boosting our immune system so i actually did a little research last night on yoga journal and there was five specific poses that it recommended to boost your immunity and i will be posting pictures of these poses on my instagram so if anyone wants to check that out it is happy underscore vibes underscore yoga and i'm going to demonstrate the poses but i'll do my best to describe them today in fact we did them this morning in the class i taught at thrive yoga and wellness and it was very, very well received. We also use essential oil called Thieves. Are you familiar with that? No, I've never heard of it. Oh, it's really interesting. During the bubonic plague, there's a group of thieves that would go stealing and plundering while everyone was sick. And they concocted this uh, essential oil blend, basically, and it kept them from getting sick. So that's why they named it Thieves. There's other, I think it's a young living essential oil, but there's other doTERRA that has On Guard. And it's... um quite a mixture of cloves cinnamon different things eucalyptus it's supposed to really really help protect you and where can people buy this product they can if they have a young living distributor i buy my stuff generic from amazon okay of course at this point it might be sold out rumor has it ebay is selling hand sanitizer for 100 dollars. yeah yeah there's a lot of crazy things going on with Anything to related to disinfectants. It is. So in general, Sean, yoga is going to help boost your immune system because you are doing twists, which help squeeze out the organs, which um, work toxins out. You're stimulating the lymphatic system. Another benefit is stress reduction. It's obvious that one of the main contributors to a low immune system is high stress. So I think we can all agree if your stress is lower, your immune system is going to be better. Another thing is a lot of yoga poses involve inversions where your head is below your heart. So it helps with reversing the pull of gravity on you. And it can help with venous return flow back to the heart, bringing fresh oxygen to your muscles from the lungs and heart. So one of the very first poses that is just very easy to do, we call it Sukhasana, which is easy sitting. And while you're sitting, kind of like... If you're a kid, crisscross applesauce, you sit very comfortably and you breathe. So breath work in yoga is called pranayama, which just means prana is your life force. So you can breathe and focus on your breath. That's almost a meditative quality. So that's something anybody could do at any time. You don't have to sit on the floor. You could sit in a chair. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. And so the second pose would be a seated twist. If you want to get fancy, we call that half Lord of the Fish. So, <laughs> aren't these yoga names awesome? They are. They are. And I'm learning a lot. <laughs> oh, and the, what, there's so much more to learn. It's just the tip <laughs> of the iceberg. But I can only learn so much in one podcast. That is true. That's why I'm limiting this to five poses. So the seated twist, you sit, you can sit with one leg extended, one leg bent, and you just twist the opposite elbow to the opposite knee and turn and look over your right shoulder if you're twisting to the right. So it's going to just gently squeeze the internal organs, kind of massaging them and helping with um, digestion. And, you know, a lot of our immune system is in our gut. If you have a healthy gut, you know this from all the research you've done, you're going to have a better immune system. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then the third one would be any kind of pose that would open your heart. So if you lie backwards over a bolster or a pillow, with your arms spread, just kind of opening the heart and the chest. It kind of stimulates the thymus gland, which is going to help boost the immune system. And one of my favorite postures for that is um, fish pose, which you lie on your back and you're kind of propped up on your elbows, opening up through the heart. So that would be a good one to see on my Instagram because it might be kind of hard for you to understand just by me describing it. Are you getting a visual? Mm -hmm. You are? Awesome. Okay. And then another one would be a standing forward fold. So when you're standing in a forward fold, it kind of drains the sinuses and the mucus 
system is like our first line of defense. If you want to keep the sinuses and mucus system clean and flowing, it's going to help protect you. So you can just stand in an easy forward fold. Sometimes I grab opposite elbows, you know, framing my head and my face, swaying side to side. And it just feels really good on your low back as well. And the fifth pose is one I recommend that everyone do every day. And it is legs up the wall. This is particularly helpful if you've been traveling a lot and sitting. Because when you're sitting, you have two blockages of blood flow, right? You have one at the hip and one at the knee. And so blood can pull in the lower extremity. So if you lie on your back with your legs up the wall, it's going to reverse that pull of gravity and help with venous flow back to the heart. I've seen you do that before. It's a great thing to do every day. You know, if your legs are fatigued, it's going to help if you have any kind of edema in your feet. Oh, edema is a fancy medical word for swelling. Mm. And if you think about your cardiovascular system, arteries pump blood away from your heart and they're strong and they can pump with a great volume, but your veins are kind of like your stretchy pants at Thanksgiving. They're kind of loose, and so they're not really pushing the blood back from the legs to the heart. So if you get the feet above the head, you're going to just gravity assist that flow. So that's a good one to do even if you're not trying to boost your immunity because it's really going to help with lymph drainage and relieve low back pressure. It also helps you feel grounded and safe. So do you have any questions about any of these good information. No, I don't think I do, and uh, I'm not sure if I w- would ever put that into my exercise schedule. It would be so easy to fit in <laughs> sitting and breathing. Like, who can't sit and breathe? Can, can, can men say that that's a woman thing or a woman exercise? No, men cannot say that because yoga asana, which is the postures of asana, was actually for men, invented mm. by men. Gotcha. So it's very modern that women have been able to step into this yoga field. But it's been really embraced. Maybe on a rainy day when I'm at home, I'll give these a shot. (laughs) Guess what, Sean? Today is a rainy day. Imagine that, a rainy day in Chattanooga. (laughs) Well, I know we're about out of time. uh, So uh, where can folks uh, get your podcast information okay, or so or is there a few more things you'd like to cover well my podcast can be found on any podcast information or site that you use but for now it's going to be on soundcloud okay all the all, all previous episodes in this episode will the most recently be loaded there they can also find us on the happy vibes podcast facebook page and leave comments on any suggestions they would like for future episodes but i would just like to discuss some of tamra's tips to staying healthy all right so if anybody knows me they know that i love to drink water i'm always like water 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 in fact i have been known to fill multiple drug tests we we're tested at work randomly because yeah my, you, you better clarify <laughs> I, know, I need to clarify because it's too <laughs> my urine is too diluted tests. and they're like oh she's trying to trick the, the drug test and like every single time it's too lot diluted and like this should be a hint that oh, i just drink a lot of water so but actually as recommended is you drink half your body weight in ounces so pretend you weigh 100 pounds you would drink 50 ounces of water a day so that's kind of like a goal so how many ounces do you drink a day so i drink half my body weight in ounces which would be what what would be yours sean (laughs) (laughs) well right now i am weighing about 230 pounds at six foot four i'm not sure if that's bragging or (laughs) (laughs) i'm just answering your question that's just kind of like if you listen to the kid chronic show you just don't put out people's weight over the air (laughs) oh well when you're talking about water and weight oh yeah that's no big deal but the you know it's just we're just among friends friends are the only ones listening to this podcast no, there's going to be like so many more people than friends listening. Yeah, but they're becoming new friends. <laughs> We're manifesting but I, I, lots and lots of followers. Don't be limiting our podcast viewers or no, listeners, 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 not viewers, listeners to just friends. All right. Okay, we're we're, we're lots, and lots. I stand, and lots. I stand corrected, and uh, I will not ask you your weight again on this podcast. So the six to eight ounces per person a day—that's not right because you have to base it on your your body size, right? So that's, mm-hmm. that's our little formula for that. My second help, Tamara's helpful hint to staying healthy is sleep. Anybody else who knows me knows I <laughs> love, 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 love oh, yeah. a good night's sleep. It's <laughs> very high so priority well. in Tamara's world. 
In fact, when I, I remember when I was in academy boarding school, my roommate said, I feel sorry for your future husband because you just want to go to bed at eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that was when I was a teenager. Oh, and, you goodness. know, teenagers are notorious for staying up late. Not me. Eight o'clock, I'm ready to go to bed. And in the summer, I just put my little eye mask on. It's dark. I'm cozy. I'm ready to go. I can so relate to everything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just keeping it real, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I, I can remember you used to like to uh, go to bed like at 8 30, 9 o'clock. Oh, there's no use to. You're still it's doing that. Still, oh, 8 o'clock is a wonderful time to go to bed. But on the flip side, I am an early bird. So it's not surprising or unusual for me to sometimes wake up at 4 30, 5 30, bright eyed, bushy tailed, and ready to take on the world or at least hit my yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> Tip uh, number three of Tamara's helpful hints to staying healthy eat more green vegetables emphasis on green do you know why that is why green vegetables help alkalize our blood and we don't want an acid acid more acidity in our body acidity acidity is equals inflammation so we want alkaline Mm -hmm. tony robbins is big on like green drinks one of my favorite green drinks now is um suja you can buy it at Costco because that's one of my happy places. <laughs> <laughs> buy it in bulk, but you can also get it at your local Walmart. But anything green, cucumbers. Nutrition World's got some really good drink. Green oh, I'm drinks. sure. Probably in the powder form with some algae and spirulina. You can just mix up. I understand that their green drinks are of higher quality than what you can get at the big box stores. Bit better than Costco. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I don't know. I saw a story not long ago about Costco, how their supplements are not of as high as standards. That is true. I, I have heard that as well, but I'm just talking about juice, green juice. I know, but that's still important. It is important. And this particular brand is actually Bobby Flav approved, so that's good. I don't know if you're a Bobby, Bobby Flav no, fan. I've never heard that. Oh, well, you just have to take my word for it. <laughs> Tip number four, <laughs> basic uh, hygiene, which means, folks, just wash your hands. So you want to wash your hands vigorously, and the friction is really what's going to get it. You don't even have to use an antibacterial soap. People are on the fence like, should you or shouldn't you use antibacterial because it kills the good bacteria as well. I saw on the Today Show that uh, you should uh, wash your hands thinking that song in your mind, happy, because I'm happy. That's true. Or happy birthday. A song that lasts 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a magic number. So. But I like that song, Happy. It's actually my ringtone on my phone. Oh, is it? It is. It's, uh, I love it. Because well, that's why I mentioned it. It is. Since, since, since uh, you're all about the uh, happy, happy vibes. vibes. That's Ooh, right. Happy vibes. Okay, tip number four, five. Regular exercise. So that's one you don't have to worry about because you love hitting the gym. Just make sure everything you touch is well sanitized. <laughs> but regular exercise, and even if it's 10 minutes of walking, that's you're going to get all the benefits of increased circulation weight bearing through your joints op- more oxygen so stretching is really good too is there any helpful hints that sean has in his pocket no none that i can think of but i will give that some thought for the next podcast okay so to recap some of the benefits of doing yoga to boost your immune system is reducing stress which decreases inflammation I know that you're really concerned about decreasing inflammation. You've discussed that in previous podcasts. It also helps condition the lungs and the respiratory tract. It stimulates the lymphatic system to oust toxins from our body. It brings oxygenated blood to our vital organs. Meditation can increase endorphins and decrease decrease cortisol levels. Cortisol is related to stress. And it also fosters a positive state of mind. And who doesn't want to be happier, right? Very well said. And also a calm mind improves your sleep, which is crucial for well-being. All right. Any final words before we wrap up today's uh, podcast of the beginning of season two? I guess my two advice for staying healthy right now during this coronavirus scare is wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And do not go back to your home office if you do home health. (laughs) Or they might give you stink eye. That's right. All right. And, of course, you can find this podcast at Happy Vibes Podcast, which is on SoundCloud. It's on SoundCloud. We also have the Facebook group. And check out my Instagram for pictures 
of these five postures we discussed today. All right. Anything else before we wrap up today's podcast? Namaste, Sean. Namaste. I notice your uh, shirt has that written all over. And of course, we want to thank all of you out there for listening and uh, checking out the Happy Vibes podcast. Uh, Season two has just begun today. So uh, get ready. Episode number two will be coming up very, very soon. Share it with your friends and let folks know about it. And uh, we certainly appreciate you doing that. For Tamara Whitfield, I am Sean Whitfield. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.